Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh. We always say that he knows it's okay. Here it is, the 15 minute morning show podcast with our special guest, Anthony Rodia. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah. He's hey, go ahead, take lot. the headphones on or yeah, off? Take them off. Oh, oh, he's, oh, right. he's take learning. off the, he- the sweatshirt, too. Elvis, he's learning a lot about uh, everyone in the room, especially scary. No, I know a lot yeah. about all you guys. Listen, I think I've been f- I've been listening to you guys since, uh, I don't know, I think 12. 12, 13? Aw. Long yeah, time. when you guys first started. Yeah. I uh, I mean, I'm, I'm talking oh. back in the day. Like, you did, um, I, I write feel stupid news. I thought you were yeah. going to say you were right. listening since you were 12. I was going to say, holy fuck, so, we're old. But so no, the 90s. no, close. <laughs> close, yeah. I know, it's, it's been, what, 25 years? 90, yeah. 26. Yeah, so, I mean, I was like, in high oh, school. No, I meant, oh, holy fuck, you're old. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we can curse on the podcast? Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah. fuck shit ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, everybody was messaging me. They're like, you're going to be on Elvis? You better watch your mouth. I'm like, I can control myself. I'm sitting here twitching. Oh, shit, I got to say something. All right, well, hold on a second. Let me uh, let me point out a couple of extra guests we have on the podcast. Of course, Froggy's here, Danielle's here. There's Scary and Gandhi and uh, Scotty B. And I see okay. There's Nate. I see Garrett back there. But also Danielle Delillo hey, is here. Hey, hey, Danielle, how you doing? How you fucking doing? You how face? you fucking doing? You <laughs> fucking <laughs> doing? But you can't see Brody because he's not in the Zoom room. I don't know where yeah, the freak Bro- he is. Brody, you got to be on a Zoom room to be in the. On oh, the sorry, I'm over here. Find a way. <laughs> I'm over here, here now. now. We need to get the fuck out of here. One, one of the things that curses what we do is the Federal Communications Commission will not let us use all those words on the show. But that's why we do this podcast, just so we let can it out. be like a machine gun of profanity. Yeah. I, I, I Listen, I tell everyone. like People sometimes write me online. They're like, you know, you could be funny if you don't curse. I'd rather be in a room with a comedian that doesn't curse. Ew. I'm like, really? Well, Bill Cosby never cursed. You want to be in a room with Bill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to wake up from an unexpected nap? <laughs> I'm like, oh people that God. curse are honest. I'm honest. Holy you know, I look shit. at my daughter. I go, I want to fucking throw you through the wall. That's honesty. <laughs> You know, I'm like, what do you do when you stub your toe? Say, oh gosh, darn! I'm like, fuck! Like yeah. that's that's pain. People, I can't. Finally, who doesn't curse? Somebody who understands me. Right. Hey. No, Anthony, is your brother here somewhere? Yeah, yeah, he's here. He's so quiet. He is. To you. He's oh, an introvert, was... man. <laughs> Say something, Rob. I said hello, Elvis. Oh, okay. Hello, hello, Elvis. Elvis. He's so nervous. <laughs> he's such a fan of you guys. Aww. Forget it. Like, when he found out you weren't here, he's about to fly to Santa Fe. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's exactly what I want. So, comedian Anthony Rodia's brother's a stalker. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know, we're still getting texts from uh, when you were on the show. I love you guys, but when you have people like Anthony Rodia on the show, that's quality. Look at that. They use oh, the word quality. Have me they on more him. often. <laughs> I don't know. Something tells me that your ego is totally fine with compliments. You're no, okay you know, that. I... I uh, you know, I, the one thing I can't stand when people say is, oh, like if I, if I answer someone back that's rude and I answer them back just as rude, everyone's like, oh, you're, you're getting too big for your bridges. I go, no, no, no. I said, number one, I'm extremely humble. I pinch myself every day that I'm doing what I love for a living and that I prove my wife wrong. And <laughs> that's the most important thing. And I was taught not to bite your tongue. Somebody steps on your toes, you step on theirs back. So people, you know, a lot of people forget that there's a consequence for being a jackass. But uh, I'll always be humble, man. I, I, I'll always, like, if I go out and I see my fans, um, Ozzy and I were at the diner the other day, and some lady's playing my video in a mm-hmm. booth next to me. Mm-hmm. And I'm just, I sit there and I ignore them because I want to see how far they'll go. And then I'll go up to them. And I'm like, you you want to take a picture or have me sit on your lap or maybe you like your face? <laughs> and, and I'll always pay attention to my fans. I mean, I, I don't know when an entertainer gets so big where he forgets how he's an entertainer. It's because of the fans. So and plus, my parents probably kick my ass if I ever get bougie. <laughs> you know? Yeah, there is that. I would think. Yeah, you, yeah, we we definitely know enough about your family family to know they probably keep you in line pretty well. Yeah, and my father can't pronounce humble, so every oh. time I think he's talking about bees, he's like, "You better always be bumble." I go, "Okay, all right, <laughs> all right, I'll pollinate the shit out of you." I don't understand what what you want me to do. <laughs> All right, guys, you got Anthony Rodia here. Take over. What's going on? What do you want to talk about? What do you want to do? No, I just want to applaud you for clapping back at people. Yeah, I yes. love when people do that. Yeah. I am not really a big fan of the high road. I think it's overrated. No. Yeah. <laughs> I hate the high road. It's Take the high road. No, I'd rather just stoop down. Yeah. I will be on their you level. on your level. Don't no. do this. You don't want yeah. to do this. Yeah, it's like, the best it's, is- it's like when Mike Tyson was on that plane and that guy was fucking with him. I'm glad Mike Tyson turned and dotted him in his Dude, eye. Oh, Froggy, yeah. you yeah. Ju- I was just going to bring that up. Mike Tyson said... Because of the internet and because of social media, people forgot 
that shit will get you punched in the face. Yeah, I forgot. Absolutely. I would right? love to punch like ten percent of my fans in the face. <laughs> like one, and, and what I love 10%. is people. People actually like they like one lady was like, oh, you know, I've liked all your videos except this one because it hit too close to home, and you're mean, and for that reason, I'm leaving your page. And I go, oh, you work in an airport? She's like, no. I'm like, well, then why the hell are you announcing your departure? Yeah, just, just go. Leave. <laughs> leave. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up at three in the morning, and be like, oh, what happened to Barbara from Buffalo? I haven't seen a comment. I don't care. I know. Go. Oh, Barbara, I know, we get that all the time. You know what? This morning you talked about blah blah blah. Oh, the other day someone said something disparaging about Galveston. I think I did. I don't know. Right. <laughs> I don't. I, I can't. I listened to you for twenty five years. I can't listen because you said something oh, bad about Galveston. Yeah, God. Oh my God! If that was, if we were really teetering for so long with you, and we finally, the tipping point was Galveston. <laughs> it, it, people, people forget that no one's perfect. That they make mistakes. And the one thing that I hate, other than like more than that, is right now we're everyone's so so on edge with everything that like it's like. You know, if you disagree with me, I can't be friends with you, whether it's politics or, you know, vaccine or mask or, I mean, fucking ice cream flavors. You know, it's like, that's oh. A, who- that's a big one, though, the ice cream. It is. Yeah. Like, pistachio? Uh, you know, there's, there's a, what? Pistachio? <laughs> Did you just say pistachio? You like pistachio? Oh, okay. I will bathe and have sex with pistachio. All right, now you and me, let's do this. Let's do I'll, All right. Dude, I'll cover you in pistachio. Yes, and you will. Your body. I'll eat nuts. those nuts. Right now, my father's, really? li- my, my father's listening. He's like, he's going to call me later. The whole entire radio show, the pie, he's going to go, hey, just to want to let you know it's pistachio. Um, thanks, Dad. <laughs> Appreciate it. Brody, get, 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 get in the camera. Brody, oh, we don't yeah, see yeah. you. Brody. No, no, it's good too yes, close. Bring I your pistachio ass over here. I think it's so funny, like, you know, I'm not around, like, my Bronx type of people very often anymore, right. so when you get a guy like Anthony, I fucking feel like I just gotta talk like that. Yeah. He's, he's like, 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 I, I feel like I can fucking let it loose, you know? Like, hey, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, well, I just talk If about. anyone can let it loose like that, it's Delillo. Delillo. Hey, yeah. Delillo. Hey, that's how I talk all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about it all. Now, how did, you, how did you two meet? I mean, she's like getting you water and stuff. Does she work for you now? And no, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Am I paying you? What? Am I paying you? I mean, I, I could use the extra dollars. Wow, <laughs> I'm being shaken down. Thanks, Elvis. That'll come out of your end. <laughs> no, but how did you? Get, how did you guys like start? Like, I, I start I so. Again, I saw that she worked for iHeartRadio. She started following me, so I followed her back because she works for iHeartRadio, and then I knew she knew you guys, so I was using her for that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was using the friendship. But uh, no, we know a lot of the same people, and we live, what, 20 minutes from each other? Yep. Yeah, yep. she lives on the boardwalk, town. and I live in Fungal Square. Yep, Fungal Square. <laughs> That's what they call it. Franklin it's Square? Italian. Yeah. Franklin Fungal Square. Square. Fungal Square. Square. Fungal Square. Yeah. Fungal so Square. Uh, let's talk about how you have reacted and responded to the fact that Scary used to kiss his first cousin on the mouth. Well, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> you bring it back to that. But did, he, back no, to wait, was, did he know what was his no, first cousin was, when he made out like, with her? I think I was 11 or 12. And yeah. That's wow. old enough. Yeah, it's old enough. Let me enough. tell you something, Scary. You no, know, Scary. You had no yeah. idea My, that you were related. grass in the infield, let's play ball. <laughs> yeah, and if yeah. there's not, you sneak around back and play in the mud, you nasty bastard. But here. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my, God. my six-year-old daughter, if hold I on, said, hold hey. On, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I got to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, six-year-old. Okay, six-year-old daughter. Go. Sorry. I went from that right to my daughter. Um, so my six-year-old daughter, if I said to her, "Go kiss Michael," she's gonna go, "No, that's my cousin." So you were 11, 12. You she's knew exactly stuck. what you were doing. This was like a fourth cousin, and it was a, a trip no, to Florida. Well, how many cousins was, have you made out with? Florida. That's only the fourth. I was, I was in Florida. It, wasn't, it was not my first cousin. <laughs> you how many cousins so your experience you the kissing cousins? No, my mother and father are watching this right now. I would not kiss a first cousin. You just you said it wasn't your first. You said your fourth, your fifth, your sixth. How many, how many cousins? Right, you said it was your fourth, no. so you've done it four times? No, no. Scary. You, know how you, you know keep what? saying it, but it was in Florida. Like, it doesn't matter. Right. right. Because it's it my first Florida. cousin. Hold on. State I removed. live in Florida, and you don't kiss your cousins here. That's not normal. <laughs> North Carolina, where I was born, perfectly fucking normal. Not in Florida. I'm trying to say that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Florida is like five states removed. That's your end. What, yeah. what was your pickup line? Hey, how about that grandmother we shared? No, no, no. <laughs> You're not getting it. It was, it was You're not getting it. Four cousins You removed. got it. <laughs> not first, as in first, second. When you guys before. broke up, did you say, hey, listen, I think we should just keep it family? <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we still be cousins? No. I was 11. I didn't know what was going on. We were just kids. He's like, this is great. She's allowed to sleep over. My family doesn't question it. Now, let me ask you a question. Did she sleep on top and you slept on the bottom? <laughs> He's like, no, we didn't have bunk beds. That's my point. Yeah. I don't even you know. nasty bastard. <laughs> I have to break up with you, but it's not you, honey. It's grandpa. He doesn't like it. <laughs> 
<laughs> and oh, now, scary. You felt your father's gonna have lots of questions. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, it's not true. It's not true. I did not know. <laughs> Honey, we shared we okay, shared right, DNA. Right, right. Would you like all some right. more? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> you ever had a DNA money shot? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <that was> him. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta uh, tell you guys, I don't know about anyone in this room or anyone watching this podcast, but this day has gone from total shit to one of the, my funniest, most festive days ever. Well, yeah. thank you. I love this. I love that. Thanks to you, Anthony. Of course, no, not thanks, thanks to me. Thanks, I mean, you to, can, thanks, to, thanks scary. to Scary's <laughs> and his cousins. <laughs> cousin loving. Thanks to cousin loving. It was five cousins removed. It was my fifth cousin. He's waiting for it. Oh my god. god. Wait, wait, the wait, 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 just wait, wait, scary, who yeah. came to the bedroom and physically removed them? <laughs> your family, your oh family is god. growing as we speak. <laughs> it's like it was a second cousin uncle removed. I yeah. have from the room. my great grandparents who might or might not have come to this all right, country. All right, and been scary, scary. We need the cattle prod. Cattle prod. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm so disturbed right now. Me too. I feel like this is answering a lot of questions. Yeah, I'm answering a ton of yeah. questions. This is great. He just keeps the, 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 the oh my god! Holy shit! We always say that he knows it's okay. I love you, scary. You know what? Yeah, I love you, scary. Oh my god! Everything. She just said if you have something in your left eye, you could see it with your right. That's so <laughs> fucked up. That's so oh fucked. God. She said you look like a flounder. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony's whole routine is about his family, but now it's going to all be about Scary. A hundred percent. Oh, let me tell you about it. This guy ain't uh, no Scary Jones. You, you got a lot of lot of material. Dude, I can't stop looking at your eyes now. <laughs> hey, just it's stare true. at his one eyebrow. It'll take you off his eyes. Oh, speaking of eyebrows, so my daughter, who had a unibrow, um, I kept calling her Anthony Davis. And Anthony, you know, from the Lakers, he's yeah. got the unibrow. So she didn't know who he was. So she goes to school one day. She calls home. She goes, Daddy. I go, what? She goes, Vincent had a Lakers jersey on. I said, okay. And it was Anthony Davis. I go, oh, the nickname. Yeah. Well, he showed me a picture of him. Okay, he has a unibrow. That's why you call me Anthony Davis. Oh, no. I go, yeah. Yeah, I'm not denying it. Why? You have a unibrow. Deal with it. So she, all of a sudden, three days later, I come home from being on the road, and my wife ended up taking it. It bothered her so much, she ended up tweezing. Aww. Right? So she goes, Daddy, look. No more Anthony Davis. I go, you hit bitch, but you still got hair on your back. So <laughs> you're a little capuchin monkey. You belong in a zoo. Take after your mother. Take her to India. She'll fit right in. <laughs> oh. Well, I, I hear in the Indian family when you're born, they go, that'll shed. Yeah, oh. basically. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The hair on go her head. Not and you know here. who? You know who else? Um, very funny. Com uh, Carrie Carabas. She's a Greek oh, comedian. She was in an improv group. Oh, uh, dude, Carrie Carab is hilarious. She says how bad Greeks are too at hair, which I never knew. Yes. Never met a well, hairy Greek. Yes. Danielle's got a mustache right now. Look at wow. That. I do not. Wow, that's don't why you don't eat mayo because it, 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 it brings guys. it out. <laughs> Sponsor. I'm so. Wow, on look it. at you with the plugs. I went to Ideal Image and no, no, he's got the plugs. The reason why <laughs> I went to Ideal Image because of you. What, what do you mean because of me? Because you spoke about it hey, so much. I said, hey, like, advertising my, works, my bitches. My stance on, my uh, underarms, my bikini. If you could show you 23 and me that you're full Italian, mean. we'll give you 10% off hair removal. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing, Froggy? How are we doing oh on time? Gosh. Oh, we're good. No, we're, 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 how long have we been You've on? You've got about a minute and a half left. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, well. Sweet. Where can I see this podcast? Uh, we, we never play it. You're it's in just, it. <laughs> we, just do it for, we just do it for fun. Are you serious? No. Okay, no. Oh. He's like, this is my best material. We're not even rolling. Oh we're not this recording. This is wasted shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I would have been quiet like my brother. <laughs> Where do oh. we, anywhere podcasts are sold. Where all right, so I can here? share this. I'm going to share it all over. I'm going to download yeah. it, share it. Yeah. You know, hopefully, right. hopefully it's not copywritten. Well, no, that'll, that'll give us more viewers. Thank you for doing yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. 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 I've had a blast at revealing Scary's cousin fetish. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that was his ninth cousin. Be nice. <laughs> it's like it wasn't my first. It was my fifth. That's what we're saying. <laughs> you have a problem. <laughs> you, you're going to be one of those uncles. I've always thought cousins were nice until I've had, I tried a niece. <laughs> They're phenomenal. They listen to everything you say. Had hair removed. Scary had cousins removed. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Oh, my God. All oh right, well, goodness. I guess it's time to turn this shit off. <laughs> Anthony, Rodia, we love you. Thanks love for you coming guys. by. This sucks, man. Yay! I got to go home. Yeah, sorry. You gotta I got to go home, home to my family. <laughs> my Bye. damn kids. <laughs> All right, turn it off. Goodbye, podcast. Bye. 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 Bye.